hey guys welcome back to beauty over 40 so for this month's collab we are celebrating asian american pacific insider heritage month if you like to see these beautiful looks myself and my girls have created definitely stay tuned i'm down if you're down let's ride out right now we'll go with the rain All right guys, so for my look, I am actually going to focus on skincare. So I'm going to go back to my Estee Lauder days because working at Estee Lauder, I learned quite a bit about what Asians like, what kind of skincare they like, and just how they took care of their skin. So as you see here, I have gone in with my Micro Essence Skin Treatment and i can tell you at one point when i was working at estee lauder we sold out of this stuff and when i tell you there was some panic there was definitely some panic i can also remember we had this product um just like a sample version in a free gift and when i tell you that gift ran out so quick but I'm gonna continue on here. So as you saw, I went in with my serum. Same thing with the serum. The serum is a really great serum. Um, so it's gonna help with fine lines, wrinkles, dehydration to your skin, pores, so many benefits to using that toner. And then here I am going in with my Resilience Multi-Effect Nighttime Cream really really love that cream it's so rich and it just makes my skin feel so youthful and plump which is the look i'm going for here i'm actually going in with a another toner just to pump up my skincare i want my skin just really really plump and hydrated here i'm going in with just like a glow primer to go underneath my foundation and then also some more drops all right so here i have chosen my day wear foundation for the most part unless it's really like a special occasion or something like that if you really look at asian skin they do not have piles and piles of makeup so i went with a really light very lightweight foundation it's almost like a cc cream not so much as a bb cream because the bb cream does have a little bit of coverage but this foundation here is very minimal and that's the look i'm going for all right and unfortunately i cannot go without concealer i do have some discoloration underneath my eyes but i did thin it out a little bit with the serum yes you can do that that's just going to give me more hydration underneath my eyes and I'm going in here with my Love Yourself palette and just trying to make my brows a little bit fuller. guys so i'm actually forcing myself not to really contour myself really heavily but just enough to give my face a little bit of dimension and we're going to go in here just to attempt to get some rosy cheeks and I want to focus that just on the apples of my cheeks. All right, next we're gonna go into the Pure Festival palette and I'm gonna pull that pinky, peachy color and just apply that all over my lid. And then we're gonna follow up with just a little bit of highlight on the center of the lid. I'm also going to pop that color underneath my lash line as well, right in the center. 
Mm, guys, forgive me. I'm really trying to use my words and not offend anyone. But I'm doing liner here. Uh, quite a few, uh, from what I've seen, do love a just kind of like, not really a wing, but just a little bit of a cat eye. All right, and then we're gonna pull out our lash primer. This lash primer is by MAC, and I'm just gonna really coat my lashes because we're not going to apply any lashes today. So I want to um, just really prep my lashes here for my mascara. And we're gonna continue on with just a really nice, plump, glowy, healthy looking skin. So I'm going in with a cream highlighter um, and just kind of put that in um, the higher points of my face. Then we're gonna go in with a brighter liner just in the center of my bottom lash line and also underneath my lash line. All right, and since we focus more just on skincare for my lip, I'm just gonna go in with a lip gloss and that is it for my look. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I am going to share a little bit of information. I hope you guys stick around. The rich history and heritage of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders is thousands of years old and is integral to the shaping of the history of the United States. According to the 2020 census, there are 24 million people in the United States who fall under the umbrella of AAPI. The Pew Research Center has found that Asian Americans are the fastest growing ethnic group in America. Lawmakers chose May because of its historical significance for the AAPI community. It commemorates the immigration of the first Japanese people in the United States, as well as the Golden Spike Day, which is May 10th of 1869, which marks the completion of the Transcentennial Railroad, largely built by Chinese laborers. Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month was able to exist due to the attraction from the civil rights movements movement in the 70s they were able to find momentum because of black history months and hispanic heritage month i hope you've enjoyed this collaboration with my girls so if you're not following me on instagram or tiktok give a girl follow at lrh makeup also my second handle on tiktok which is underscore beauty over 40 and because if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel please consider subscribing to my channel turn on post notifications all right, guys, until next time, remember the best makeup you can wear is confidence. Bye.